Gears Esports is one of my favorite esports to watch, guys. I think that it is so unique in a number of ways, and I, I just, I love it. I absolutely love Gears Esports. That being said, how can the Coalition and Xbox, Microsoft, how can they improve Gears Esports over the next number of months, over the next couple of years while we're waiting for Gear 6, and even after Gear 6, how can they improve this to be a long withstanding, sustainable ecosystem and eSport for the future? So let's talk about that, guys. Um, like I said, Gears Esports is so unique, and I think that there's something very special that you don't really see in other games, you know, out there, or I should say other esports out there. It is such a, uh, you know, a, a, an esport that is unique from a trash talking perspective to just a gameplay perspective. It's the viewership experience is really awesome, guys. Um, what I will say though is with Gears of War and with the esports scene, I kind of felt that when Gears of War 4 came out, I felt that the esports scene should have stuck with, instead of Escalation, even though I love Escalation, I think it's absolutely awesome, I felt that execution should have stayed the the esport, you know, mode, at least for the foreseeable future. And the reason for that, guys was because it's very easy to follow execution. You get one life, there's power weapons on the map. It was just a very, it's like a search and destroy for Call of Duty or CSGO or, and, and games of that nature. And so I felt like execution was, was like a really good foundation for where they should have started because that's what the esports scene used to be. And it used to start uh, around execution and then it kind of evolved to this new game mode, Escalation, which I think Escalation, like I said, is an absolutely incredible game mode. Don't get me wrong. I just thing from a viewership perspective those who aren't super familiar with the game or aren't familiar with uh, with the game mode it's a little bit more confusing to follow than execution now obviously guys you could have arguments on either side that you know escalation is really not that hard to understand but um, I just think that new viewers coming in execution just made uh, you know a little bit more sense at least and th this is just one man's thoughts guys and I would love to hear your guys' uh, thoughts in the comment section down below I'd love to have a, you know real conversations about this but so the first thing that I feel to improve Gears Esports Number one is I think they need to go back to execution. Um, I think that we at least need to try that or make it a part of the rotation of game modes. If they have escalation, maybe they also have execution. Kind of like what we see with like Call of Duty. Call of Duty has a few different game modes each year um, that they utilize, whether it's Hardpoint and Search and Destroy. And, you know, they usually have a, a few game modes in the in the CDL. So I would love to see something like that. Or I would love to just see it stay start with execution and kind of see where it evolves to. Because execution is, is a really special game mode in my opinion guys you know and number two i think there needs to be more emphasis even though they've been trying to support the gears esports scene there needs to be more emphasis moving forward for gears esports it's a very special esport guys in my opinion and it's one that not everyone even knows about really it's not one that like everybody you know watches it's so good i mean a lot of people say that call of duty is the wwe of of esports I feel like that's Gears of War. I feel like Call of Duty, like they may, like, it doesn't seem like they really try to make it the WWE. The players try to make it like that, but the CDL wants it to be more like the NFL or the NBA or something of that nature. Whereas Gears of War, guys, it's the WWE of esports. I mean, it is unbelievable the amount of trash talking and just the really epic, you know, scenes and, and, um, and things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis with the esports scene. It's um, incredible with, with Gears of War. And I've said this from the beginning that there was a lot of, you know, really big personalities in the Gears scene that were, you know, obviously, you know, playing the game at a very high level, expl you know, explosive and mental and all these different guys who are incredible who have now moved over to playing Halo. And so I really think that whether we're talking prize pools, what, whatever we're talking here, I feel like it all needs to be improved upon moving into gear six, especially to bring a lot of those players back because I think one of the tough things for me was, was seeing the gear scene um, as far as Gears Esports started to kind of dwindle as far as the superstars were concerned. They started moving over to other games. And um, I just feel that in order for us as an ecosystem to continue being, you know, sustainable, we need superstars in Gears of War. And 
um, you know, where those narratives can be driven around around those players and such. And those players, I know that they're training and playing a lot, but I think they also need to be creating content similar to what we're seeing with Call of Duty. You know, you have Scump and all these other guys that are creating content as well as competing. I think we need to have that here on the Gears of War scene. It's going to help our scene, guys, in a major, major way with growing. And um, that's what we want. We want the esports scene to grow. We want Gears of War as a as a franchise to grow. Because um, as long as it's growing, um, we're going to continue getting new games, and and it's going to continue to be you know serviced and something that uh, the coalition is obviously helping us out with and, and listening to our voice. So I think that's another way that you can really improve Gears esports. Now on the flip side of that, from a viewership perspective. The question, you know, has come down to like, do you, uh, you know, kind of tone it down when it comes to the blood and gore in Gears of War esports to make it so more, it's, it's more of a viewer friendly esport. And the answer to that, guys, is is very interesting because obviously you want the scene to continue to grow and you want it to be like, this is the mature game to watch um, for audiences. But at the same time, if you want to continue growing in a major way, um, you really want to be able to kind of connect with a number of different um, audiences like the WWE for example guys just uh, kind of comparing the two you know the WWE it's sure it's relatively for mature audiences but anybody can watch it and it's not you know something that's completely over the top when we talk about you know gore and things of that nature um, obviously the trash talk is still going to be there no matter what Call of Duty League there's a lot of trash talk in the Call of Duty League and you can see it on a on a weekly basis when you watch the players play and what they're saying to one another You're Years of War is like that, but on another level. I just think that maybe the gore and things of that nature are something that need to be toned down, potentially, if you want to grow the scene. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about that, though, in the comment section down below. It's been one that I've been kind of trying to rack my brain around, whether it was it's too mature, kind of like Mortal Kombat, or you know, things of that nature, because there's a lot of, you know, tournaments and such that will not host Mortal Kombat, just as an example, because of how gory it is, so they'll put, like, Street Fighter and, say, Smash up at the forefront, and Mortal Kombat won't really get that, that national audience because of the, 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 uh, the, the sheer amount of gore and such that is in, in Mortal Kombat, and so, I look at that, and then I look at something like Years of War, how can we push this thing forward? The other thing, guys, is obviously... Activision owning MLG or purchasing MLG, what can that mean for Gears of War? I mean, it could be something absolutely massive. I want to see Gears go on the MLG circuit. I think that is something that would be absolutely incredible. Or the esports engine, whatever you want to call it, guys. I would absolutely love to see Gears of War go on that circuit. Now, we got UMG, which is awesome, but I'd love to see MLG come back into the fray. I think it would be something really, really special, guys. But... With that being said, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this and ways that we can continue to, you know, innovate and help improve Gears Esports. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And for more Gears Esports content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.